Hi everyone, Karen Dubs here, FlexibleWarrior.com. So as part of the Chill Power Challenge, we're gonna be practicing both challenging poses that are gonna make you stronger, more balanced, more, you know, have more endurance, and of course more flexibility. And on top of that, then we're balancing it out with Chill Power. So it's the balance of those two opposites that we're working on during this challenge. So tonight's sequence is very restorative. I would encourage you, if you can, just pause the video, maybe grab an herbal tea, maybe uh, light a candle if you don't have a fire, and just kind of set the tone that this is a recovery restorative sequence. All right, let's uh, cross your legs, bring your hands down onto your knees, lift and open your posture, relax your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose, sit up really tall, open and lift your heart, filling your lungs. And as you exhale, consciously drop tension from your shoulders, from your eyebrows, from your forehead, and from your jaw. And do that again. Deep breath in. And exhale, relax and soften with the out breath. Take a moment to set or reset your intention for your practice and for the challenge, how you wanna feel both on your yoga mat, off of your yoga mat in your life, and of course through the holiday season. So just take a moment to reflect on that intention. If I wanna feel peace, joy, healthy, energized, more grateful, whatever it is that you want to feel. And then go ahead and open your eyes and just bring the bottoms of your feet together to touch. You're gonna to grab onto your ankles. Uh, if you scoot your feet a little closer to you, it's gonna be a little bit more, uh, you'll feel a little bit more sensation through the groin inner thigh. And then as you bend the elbows, they're gonna come into the creases of the knees. And you're just gonna fold forward, bringing the forehead towards the feet. So we're gonna flow just a little bit with this. I'll turn to the side so you can see. So as you inhale, you're gonna lift up, open the heart, pull the shoulders back and down, get um, extension, your spine so your spine is I hate to use this word straight because it's a curve in your spine but the spine is lifted and open and then as you exhale you fold back forward and you flow with your spine so you inhale to open and lift exhale to fold and so it's kind of like a wave so you're folding and flowing forward and back and just do that a few times and as you shift forward you can bend the elbows into the creases of the knees so that you'll get a little bit more stretch of the groin and the inner thighs. Let's do that one more time, folding forward. And then this time, just hold it forward, bringing the forehead towards the feet. And if you want to, you can take your hands and slide them underneath your feet. I think it feels good to do that. And then you can just sort of snuggle in a little bit closer. So with your, your hands on the tops of your feet, you kind of just drag yourself gently closer towards your feet. Not forcefully, just a gentle pull forward. And forward folds are very introspective, so it's a really nice opportunity to just close your eyes, acknowledge how you feel, and quiet your mind. And then go ahead and lift slowly up from that, and we're gonna take the right foot, fold the left leg underneath, and bring the right foot around and across. You're gonna drop this hip, and again, you wanna lift and open your heart. So if you hinge to the side a little bit, you wanna extend and lengthen your spine. And then you'll take your left hand across your right knee, and your right hand's gonna be behind your back. And you're gonna lift your chest, and then twist and look over the shoulder. This is just such a nice hip stretch. So if you are a runner or an athlete, and your hips are really tight, this is just a nice thing to practice. Just get off of the couch, sit on the floor, and stretch your hip. If you wanna increase the intensity of the stretch, just take this left hand and pull your knee closer towards your opposite shoulder. The whole time you're sitting up really tall, so no hunching. And then if you want to, you can look up and over your right shoulder, getting a little twist through the spine at the same time. Breathing in, sitting up taller each time you inhale. And as you exhale, twisting a little bit deeper to the stretch without forcing. One more time, deep breath in, lifting up. Exhale, rotate through your spine and look up and over your shoulder. And then go ahead and bring it all the way back to center. And what we're gonna do is unfold this leg and kick it straight out in front of you. So I'll turn to the side a little bit here. So you just wanna lengthen out that leg. This other knee is falling to the side and you're getting a good hamstring stretch and lifting up and open through your heart. You can hold right underneath the calf if you want to, or you can taste peace fingers and put them right inside the big toe and kick out through the leg. It's called a big toe hold. So if that feels good for you, go ahead and do that. Again, this leg doesn't need to be all the way straight. So if the hamstring is tight, you can have a little bend in the knee. But what I don't want you to do is round through the spine. So really lift and open the heart. And if that means that you need to bend your knee a little bit, then do that.
Okay, one more breath, take a nice deep breath in. And then go ahead and release that leg and fold it straight out in front of you so that the bottom of the left foot is at the right inner thigh. So what you're gonna do is pivot your belly button and your sternum towards its right leg. Reach out over your head, flex both feet, lift up really tall, reach for the sky. And then go ahead and hinge forward out over that right leg. And your hands can either rest on your shin, if you like. You can slide your hands all the way down to grab onto the bottom of your foot, but don't make that a goal. Like if it's just naturally within your reach, then go for that. And think of lifting your chest a little bit. So pull forward with your heart and you'll feel a little bit different, different stretch as you extend through the spine and get a deeper hamstring stretch. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes and just enjoy that hamstring stretch. Take one or two more breaths here. Try to deepen your breathing and really try to send that calming message through your central nervous system to allow yourself to just slow down. I know it's a, a busy season. It can be really hectic. There's a lot going on, but just taking a moment to slow down and stretch your body. And then go ahead and lift slowly up from there. Now what we're going to do is push this left knee down into the ground and come into a side stretch. So you're reaching up and over to the side. This left hand is down. Palm, your palm is flat and you're reaching up and over, getting that nice stretch of the right side of the body. And then we're gonna release back down, and you're gonna take this right hand towards the right foot, and your left hand up and over, so you're getting a stretch to the left side of the body. Oh, that feels so good. So you're inhaling, lifting up, side stretch, push through the knee, stretch up and over, and then exhale, take it down. Inhale, take it over, flex your right foot, and then bring it all the way back up. Let's do it one more time. So inhale, your right arm right by your right ear, right? And then your left arm will be by your left ear. Take it to the side. Perfect. And then bring it all the way back up. So we're gonna go ahead and come into the butterfly stretch again that we started with. Bottoms of the feet together to touch. Grab onto your ankles. You can pull your feet a little closer to you. Lift your heart, extend your spine, work on that good posture. Ultimately, that's what we're doing this yoga for, right? Go ahead and hinge forward and then flow with that. So inhale, articulate through your spine like a wave, roll forward. Inhale up, open your heart, exhale, hinge forward. Bring the elbows to the knees and now hold it this time. Close your eyes, bring your shin in the direction, your uh, forehead, sorry, in the direction of your feet and then gently press the elbows into the knees, getting that nice deep stretch. If you want to, again, take those hands, slide them under your ankles so the hands are at the tops of the feet and you're snuggling nice and close into that stretch. You should feel it through your low back. Close your eyes, quiet your mind, and just listen to your thoughts and take a moment to be still for a second. One more huge breath in. And then go ahead and roll it slowly up. Good. Now we're going to switch sides. So the right shin's going to fold underneath and the left foot is going to cross over. And then again, you want your sitting bones level. So the tailbone straight down, the crown of the head straight up, good posture, shoulders level. And then right hand across, left knee, lift up. You can press your left hand right behind your tailbone sacrum, press it into the ground, and that's going to lift you up a little taller. And then this right hand pulls the left knee over towards the opposite shoulder, and that's what's going to give you the deeper stretch. Take a deep breath in, sit up really tall. Think of a spiral staircase, straight up and down, and the vertebra rotating on the axis of your spine. Take one more nice deep breath in. Go ahead and slowly rotate out of it. And you're gonna swing this leg around and straight out in front of you. So again, you want that lifted posture. We don't wanna be rounded here. So if you need to keep the knee bent because your hamstrings are tight, then do that. If the hamstrings are more open, then you can extend the leg. And remember, peace fingers, <laughs> peace, big toe, hold, okay? So you're kicking it straight out. Beautiful. So you're working on good posture and alignment, hamstring flexibility, a little bit of core strength here as well, and of course breathing the whole time, breathing in and out through the nose. So we're sending that good calming message through our minds to our bodies. So no matter what happens through this holiday season, we're gonna stay flexible and resilient and calm throughout all of the chaos. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and release that leg and extend that left leg out straight. The right foot's gonna be at the left inner thigh. Remember, you're gonna rotate your shoulders and your belly button and your sternum towards this left leg, left knee. Inhale, arms right by the ears, reach for the sky, deep breath in. 
good extension through the spine and then go ahead and fold forward out over your left leg soften the tension in your shoulders bring the nose in the direction of the knee remember you're going to lift your sternum and your heart forward towards your left foot it's not about how close you can get to the leg it's not important we're just practicing that flexibility and again we want to carry that flexibility off of our yoga mat and into our lives so wherever you are no judgment no competition in your yoga practice just be where you are and practice that slowing down quieting the mind and restoring the spirit. Take one more breath, and then go ahead and slowly lift yourself up. We're gonna do that side kneeling lunge sort of um, lateral flexion. So you're gonna push your right hand and your right knee into the mat and stretch up and over to the side. So you get that nice stretch all along the whole left side of the body, should feel really good. And then go ahead and release it down. Your left hand's gonna come towards your left foot and shin, and you're gonna stretch it over to the other side. Inhale, float it up, press it down, up and over, side stretch, push your left foot into the ground, stretch over, and let's do two more just like that. Move with your breath. So you can go a little faster than me, feel free. Go a little slower if you want. I wanna hold and hover a little bit more in your stretch, and release it down. Good, and then all the way over. And come all the way up, and then just where we began, bottoms of the feet together to touch last time. So butterfly stretch, again, you can be here with the um, elbows in the creases of the knees, or you can take your hands and put them underneath and put the tops of your hands onto your feet and kind of snuggle into your butter butterfly stretch. Take a few deep breaths here. So when you carve out, you know, 10 to 15 minutes and just slow down and recover, if you have the opportunity and you can drink an herbal tea, light a candle, use a little lavender essential oil, maybe take a hot Epsom salt bath, all these simple things can really send a calming message to your body, which um, is very restorative and really can set the tone for a good calm evening and a good night's sleep. Super important. Go ahead and lift up from there, and then we're going to come into a full straddle. So I want you to take your legs all the way out straight. Now, so for some of you, this might be enough of a stretch. For others, you can take your hands behind your, your back. Give yourself a little push forward. I'll scooch to the side here. Again, spine is straight. So if you want to, you can have your hands behind your back to give yourself a little support. Otherwise, hands can be out in front of you, and you can fold forward so you're getting a deeper stretch. Again, it's not important how far you go in the stretch honor protect and listen to your body and that's really really important through the holiday season honor your body feed yourself good food get good night's sleep um, do little things that can really add up and make a big difference take one more nice deep breath in just folding forward getting that good stretch sit on the floor more often it's really powerful and then go ahead and lift up from there. And I'm gonna give you one little challenge here during this restorative practice, and that is to come into balance, okay? This is boat pose, right? You're probably familiar. So we're gonna incorporate something that we've been working on through this practice. You're gonna take your hands inside and grab on to the bottoms of the feet, just like we were practicing, you know, in this butterfly position, right? Except now we're balancing. Okay, see how you do, do the best you can. Remember, you don't wanna round your spine, so you wanna keep your posture lifted and your heart open, not rounded through the shoulders and the upper middle back. Okay, if you lose your balance, don't worry about it. And then for those of you who want to give it a try, either stay where you are, or you can take those peace fingers, put them inside the big toes, kick the legs out straight so you're balancing, and then just for a little bit more fun, you can take it into a wide straddle. Remember, lift and open your heart. Focus your eyes slightly up, like lift your heart, lift your eyes. When you lift your heart and your eyes, it lifts your mood as well. Take one more breath. And then go ahead and bend the knees and come into a seated position. Nice job. So we're gonna finish out with just a little bit of breath work just for about 60 seconds. And then you can certainly take a Shavasana, or a little relaxation if you like. Hands resting down onto the knees or turn your palms to face up, thumb and index finger together to touch, making a positive circle of energy. Relax your eyes closed. Bring awareness and attention to your posture. Lift your heart, relax your shoulders. 
align your spine. Remember, part of what we're working on is aligning our thoughts with our actions. So you set an intention at the beginning of this challenge. How do I want to feel? Reset that intention. And remember, it's the actions that you take. It's aligning your thoughts with your actions that's going to get you from where you are to where you want to go. So take a moment to contemplate that. Take a few nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Slowing things down. Again, it's that balance between willpower, challenging yourself, doing hard things, getting out of your comfort zone, and chill power, practicing recovery, restoring the mind, body, and spirit. Go ahead and open the eyes. Bring the hands together in prayer at heart center. Take a deep breath in. Make a big circle, reaching out and up. Gather your energy and your strength. And exhale, pull it in and back to your heart center. If you have an opportunity then tonight, I would really find it very beneficial for you to take a hot bath. Again, drink an herbal tea, something calming and restorative. Um, and use a little a lavender essential oil is also a wonderful complement to both of those things. Or do all of them. I'm also a big fan of Natural Calm or a magnesium supplement. Supplement naturally relaxing for the muscles and um, helps to support a good night's sleep. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell button. That way you'll get notified when I post new videos. Subscribe to my e-newsletter. And know that I uh, teach online yoga and superfood-based programs. Great for athletes, busy moms, corporate executives, anybody who wants to be stronger, faster, and work on those willpower elements, but balance it out with recovery and restoring the body and fueling yourself with superfoods. You can find out more on my website at flexiblewarrior.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.